what's the personality type of Emma Chamberlain? In today's video, I wanna see if I can figure that out. For those of you I haven't met yet, I'm Eric Wen, and on this channel, I really enjoy analyzing other creators' personalities to help you get a fresh lens on yourself. What are your personality superpowers? What are you actually bringing to the table? Before we start this meter you're gonna see in the rest of today's video, it helps me figure out what people's personality types are. Each color, each abbreviation represents a different personality superpower, helps describe interesting personality preferences we all have. If you wanna learn more about that, you can click this video right here. But in the meantime, let's just watch some Emma Chamberlain and see what we can find. Listen, I've been in LA for almost a year long. I've been here for so long and I'm getting really depressed. I'm gonna be honest. This week is Thanksgiving. My family may not do anything due to COVID, but I still decided that I needed to go home because it's just time. Did you notice there, her version of doing her own thing, it's not really coming from a touchy feely place. It's very matter of fact. It's very, mm, I'm doing my own thing. This is what makes sense to me. Keep an eye out for the side of Emma that likes questioning things, that likes asking why all the time, likes digging around for reasons to explain or justify what she's doing. I just need to get out of here, man. It's just not good. I wanna be able to walk around and live my life without constant fear of seeing another YouTuber around. It's like, I just want peace. I think my espresso machine is broken because recently it's been a bitch to get this thing in here. Oh my God, I'm already getting frustrated. I'm making a latte now because I know I'm gonna need coffee throughout my road trip and I don't wanna have to stop again. Also, there's something very comforting about going to a coffee shop. I don't know why I'm explaining myself. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Why do I keep sticking my tongue out like that? I literally expect a virtual slap in the face every time I go, mm, please. Mm. I have my coffee for later. This will stay cold all day. And then I'm gonna go get a coffee now. <laughs> Actually, that's not really a good idea, huh? Let's really think about that, Emma. No, cause then I'm gonna be peeing too much. So do you know what? We're just gonna stick to one coffee. We're ready. Do you notice how naturally Emma likes looking around for reasons? She's always asking herself, why am I doing this? And then likes to explain and justify things to herself so she can figure out if she thinks it's a dumb thing she's doing or if it makes sense to her. This type of thinking, sorting, it's called introverted thinking. Introverted thinking is a way of sorting things out that likes questioning things, that likes correcting and clarifying things to figure out what makes sense and what doesn't make sense at a very individual level. I think the second that I exit LA, my mental health will improve greatly. The second I leave, like I think it's gonna be that easy. Okay, let's get going. Ah. It's go time. We need gas though. Guys, I'm gonna cry. I forgot my coffee! I'm already like halfway to the gas station. Do I go back and get it? Oh my God, I'm so fucking stupid. This is literally the most depressing thing that's ever happened to me. Am I being dramatic? I need to go get it. I forgot my coffee in there. Oh, I'm almost back. I mean, I'm a, I'm a couple minutes out. You want me to run in and get it and bring it out to you? That would be awesome. Also, I'm gonna get gas first, so take your time and I'll text you when I get there. Thank God for that woman. But just my luck, you know? I keep doing the tongue thing. This was literally not a problem yesterday. This just became a problem today. I think it's because I'm nervous because I haven't filmed in a long time and because I feel a little bit depressed. And so I'm like, oh my God, are people gonna see my depression through the screen? But you know what, you guys always accept me through all of my, um, through all of my issues. And so I don't know why I think that I'm gonna be judged by y'all. Cause it never has happened. Actually it has, but I forgive you. <laughs> So right there, she was analyzing herself, sort of self-critiquing, trying to explain to herself why she was doing the tongue thing. But then she also bounced outside of her individual perspective to look at the group perspective and was like, hmm, how will this affect or be received by other people? In her videos, Emma doesn't act like no one at all is watching. She actually acts like we definitely are there. She's always sort of checking in with us, explaining herself. She brings up what we think of her, how we see her, thinking about the needs and reactions and perspectives of the group all the time. That's a decision-making style called extroverted feeling that we talked about a little bit last video. All the TP personality 
personality types have this side of them that likes shutting everything else out so they can figure out what makes sense to them. They like self-critiquing, they like self-analyzing, completely separate from what other people think. But then they also have this side of them that's always clued into what other people are thinking, the needs and reactions and perspectives of the group. Is this going to affect other people? What do other people think of me? Bouncing between these two can be pretty confusing, but these two conflicting perspectives help TP personality types really do a lot of things other people can't pull off. They're very unemotionally frank and blunt, but also have this conscientious side to them. This is the fucking craziest angle of 2020. What is going on? Whoever's driving that car, it's probably super hot. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> Look how many masks I have in my car. Number one, number two. Oh, this one's fun. Number three. Although the blue ones have a chemical in them that give me allergic reactions, I don't know what that's about. So, why do I have so many? I'm crazy! <laughs> <laughs> Have you noticed how present Emma is? How much she actively interacts with what's going on around her? She's very engaged with the moment. And not just engaged, she's actually like fiddling with things. She's engaging with things. Things happen and she reacts. All of the SP personality types use something called extroverted sensing. It's a way of seeing the world that likes taking in sensory information and playing with it, engaging with it. These personality types are super physically present. They love reacting to and exploring the chaos of the here and now. Number one, number two, I've not had my morning poop. Am I gonna have a safe and comfortable place to have my morning poop? That's a huge fear for me. Number three, I of course fear death, which could come in many shapes and sizes. But, but this year, I can't even see my hometown friends. I just farted. So see, like things happen and she interacts with it. She mentions it, she plays around with it. Those are definitely clues in the extroverted sensing direction. I just farted. I think being in LA for too long is bad because it's like constantly being in a fishbowl because everybody knows each other and you're constantly seeing like other influencers and stuff like that. And you know, there's like Hollywood fix around and all that. It's like you have constant fear of being watched. So, so, like see right here, she's bringing up people dynamics. There'd be so many interesting artifacts at my dad's house. I don't even think you guys have ever seen my childhood room. So I'm so excited to share that part of me with you. Oh my God, my camera's falling. Oh my God, my camera's falling off. Oh, this is such a bad start. Everybody behind me probably thinks I'm drunk by the way that I'm driving. Okay, I'm turning the camera off because my camera's falling. I don't know if you guys noticed, but she does things with the editing that hit your senses. Like the weird voices, the like abrupt things, it just throws you into like what's going on right then. It sucks you into the present because that's what she's paying attention to. That's what she's interacting with. My fear is that I pull over, I get to the bathroom wherever I end up finding one, God only knows, and then the poop doesn't want to come out. I'm in pain right now. Ow! Wait, I actually think that was a period cramp because I am on my period. Shocker! That might have literally just been a period cramp and not my morning poop. See, this is why it's good that we're, that we're thinking, everybody, we're thinking. I've been driving with these sunglasses on, and when I wear them for like an Instagram photo, I wear them low on my nose like this. But when I'm driving, I have to wear them all the way up on my face like this. Like they're fucking goggles. I'm listening to Red Link's podcast, Ear Biscuits, and watching their YouTube videos since the very beginning. And their podcast is very good. And it makes me feel safe. <laughs> oh, not the done thing again! See, like she's doing stuff. She's making things happen. She's playing with the moment. The reason these extroverted sensors are so clued into the moment is because they're constantly just like taking in real time sensory data. So, like, imagine you walk into a room and there's a bike upside down in the center of the room. When I see that, I see bike, maybe red bike, upside down bike. And that's pretty much it. And I stopped thinking about it. For these personality types, they're naturally clued into a lot more. They might notice things like the texture, the weight, how the bike is pressing into the carpet, how the color matches the wall, what type of handlebars, what type of frame, how are the gears on this specific bike connected? They might even imagine the bike flipped over and themselves sitting on it and think about where they need to put their weight to ride this specific bike well. They're just constantly clued into the moment, real time sensory data. That's what makes them so great. I keep wanting to call people, but I'm so nervous because I'm like, I'm like anxious that I'm gonna call them and they're gonna be like, Emma, like I actually am doing things today. Like, can you not fucking call me? But like, I'm lonely. Anyway, bye. I'm going away. I'll see you when I go poop. 
She's very matter of fact. She's not making judgments in an emotional way. I'm pretty sure she's a T, prefers a thinking decision making style over a feeling decision making style. Now some of you might be thinking, how the heck is Emma Chamberlain not a feeling personality type? She talks about how she cries all the time. She deals with anxiety. I'm not saying she's not emotional. She definitely is emotional, very expressive. She does experience a lot of emotions on a regular basis, but experiencing a lot of emotions, expressing a lot of emotions is not really what an F personality type, a feeling personality type is really about. Every personality type can experience and express a lot of emotions and that has nothing to do with whether you're a T or an F personality type. The reason I think Emma Chamberlain is a T personality type, a thinking personality type, is because if you look at how she sorts things out, she doesn't do it in a touchy-feely way. She does it in a very matter-of-fact way. She likes analyzing herself, critiquing herself. She likes reasoning things out to herself. If you've ever watched Best stress, she's an example of someone whose feelings definitely guide her. When she needs to sort things out, she looks inward to explore her feelings, to feel her feelings. Ashley, best dress version of authenticity of vulnerability, it's very touchy-feely. You can just feel it. With Emma, she's also very authentic and expressive and personal and vulnerable. But Emma's version of authenticity, of vulnerability, it's a lot more blunt. It's a lot more matter of fact and candid because it's coming from a thinking place. She's sort of like, hey, you can judge me if you want, but I'm just doing my own thing. This is the real me. I'm doing what makes sense to me. That's how Emma's vulnerability and authenticity splashes out. I'm literally so excited to get to my dad's house because he has a drum set in my room. Don't ask. I don't know why. I'm gonna spend at least an hour listening to music and figuring out how they play those songs on the drums and analyze it so that when I get home, maybe I'll immediately be able to play a song. Is it gonna work? No. I am still listening to podcasts though, so that's been great. Um, a few other things I've been thinking about. Number one, wow, actually really nothing. I did spend a little bit of time <laughs> thinking about how others perceive me when they meet me. Like, do I look short? What do I look like when I'm walking? I also was thinking about how we've been in quarantine for like a year. How is that How is that even possible? It feels like it just started yesterday. The one thing I did do last night that kind of made me feel happy was I literally made like five- Made me feel, what did I feel? <laughs> last night that kind of made me feel happy was I literally <laughs> made like five- <laughs> Small update. <laughs> I started listening to music. I was like, this is a good idea. I just kept crying. <laughs> I'm not crying anymore. <laughs> Do you know what? I'll excuse the tongue this time too, because I'm really just trying to lighten the mood here. I, it was it was a happy cry though. It was like it was like gratefulness for things in my life, I think. <laughs> anyway, she um, just did it again. What was I feeling? It was gratefulness, I think. Okay, I still have to pee. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. I care about people so much that I cry about it constantly. That is so weird, but it's only like three people in my life, but still, and I will literally cry about how much I love them and they have no idea and they never will. Why? Well, because I will never ever show that type of vulnerability. <laughs> I also feel like I peed my pants a little bit, like it just feels like that, which is fucking disgusting. And I probably shouldn't say that. And I probably shouldn't say that. Should not say that. It's an outside expectation. That's extroverted feeling. Be included into what other people are thinking, what's appropriate. For Emma, with low extroverted feeling, she's actually clued into, very aware of what's appropriate but she doesn't prioritize making decisions based on what's appropriate. She prefers doing her own thing, which oftentimes is not appropriate, which is why her version of extroverted feeling, it looks so different from Olivia Rodrigo's that we watched last time, who has extroverted feeling at full blast, at full volume, at high priority all the time. Whatever. I create these weird, so random and so far-fetched scenarios in my head. I just had a scenario about what if somebody called me who I admire? What if it was a guy I liked, or maybe it was like a new friend that like I just started becoming friends with? And like, what if they FaceTime me while I was in a gas station bathroom? It's kind of chaotic because it's like everything's gross. You don't want to touch anything. And so you like balance your phone on your leg when you go to wipe your ass. And then your phone falls into the toilet. And then whoever you're on FaceTime with <laughs> can see your poop. How embarrassing would that be? And what would you do? Oh my God, I just peed a little bit. I like how they put signs on the road that say like that there's food coming up. Did you notice there, the things she imagines, it's still a very sensory experience. It has a lot of detail. It's a very real, specific, grounded scene. Especially in the typing community, because it's filled with a whole bunch of intuitives and the sensing personality types don't get very much credit for like what makes them really amazing. They're always stereotyped as these like unimaginative, superficial, overly pleasure-seeking people. Extroverted sensors are actually quite creative, quite imaginative if you actually get to know them. They probably don't like thinking about abstract 
abstract concepts for fun all the time. But in their heads, they do imagine. It's just the things that they're playing around with are like physical, real things. Like, what would that shirt look like on me? What if we tried a different color? What if I cook this a little bit differently? All those TikTok trends you see of people like hopping on each other's backs and crawling through each other's legs upside down, all this sort of stuff. That was probably an extroverted sensor that thought of that. And that's very fun. That's very creative. I'm excited to hopefully cry some more, laugh some more. God only knows. I'm listening to music and just analyzing who I am as a person. Not like maybe the best activity. I'm gonna rate my this road trip experience six and a half out of 10. I would give it a seven, but I was having such bad back pain that that kind of took down a half of a point. Every time I had to go to the bathroom, I had to go so bad that it was like hurting. So that also kind of took us down. Also, I cried three times. I don't know, I'm feeling good. I'm excited to see my dad, so. I also am having really bad uh, cramps, period cramps. Oh my God, I forgot to tell you guys. I apparently bled through my tampon all over my, all onto my car seat. <laughs> I'll see you when I get home. Bob, where's the button? I'm with Chamberlain Paintings! Yo, what's up, people? Anyways, I'm done. I'm gonna practice and it will... <laughs> And then in the next video, <laughs> I'm gonna um, I'm gonna learn something new and cool for you guys. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and I'm um, here's your forehead kiss. Um, I'm gonna go spend time with my dad. Bye. That was a nice video. So after that video, I watched a lot more videos to double check some things to make sure. And I saw a lot more of the same patterns we talked about today. Those patterns, preferences, personality superpowers working together in that order makes me pretty confident she's an ESTP personality type. This video is something I really wish I had a long time ago. For my personality type, extroverted sensing is like a super blind spot. I am like the least present in the moment person ever. I do not pay attention to sensory information almost at all. And so for most of my life, personality types like Emma's the way they would do things, what they would get excited about, it totally confused me. It totally threw me off. I just didn't get it. And when you don't understand at all what things are like from the other person's perspective, suddenly there's all this opportunity to judge. Judge the other person, judge yourself. What's wrong with me? Why are they doing that? It was easy for me to feel disconnected or lonely or misunderstood. Understanding personality type stuff better, it's not about labeling other people. It's not about putting people in a box. It's about getting a fresh lens on yourself, getting better vocabulary to describe what you bring to the table, how that's different or connected to what other people bring to the table. When I was able to finally learn through personality stuff, how personality types like Emma see the world, how they make decisions in this world, what makes them awesome. It unlocked so much happiness for me because suddenly this area of confusion, of loneliness, of frustration became a place where I could actually connect, discover all these cool things, appreciate all these cool things I had never thought about before. That's the reason why this personality stuff is so fun and meaningful to me. I'm having a blast making these videos. If you want to see more personality breakdowns, you should definitely hit that subscribe button. Maybe check out this video right here. If you have any suggestions on who you want me to check out in the next video, leave it down down in the comments below. You are the change maker of your own life. Let's think more deeply. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, peace. Bye.